everybody. What's going on tonight? I did something. I forgot to do something, actually. I forgot to plug in my overhead camera. What is going on with me? Why am I a bit scotch-brained? I don't know. I don't know. But we must fix it. And um, let's see if I can put my microphone on. Am I even alive? What's going on? <laughs> Can you hear me okay? Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Let's see. Hello, Jen. Hello, Mary. Hello, Lana. April. I see Linda in here. Margo is here. Stamping Songbird. April. Oh, Mary Sebastiano. Joanne Tedford. Welcome, everybody. We're a bit shy of our normal crowd here tonight, huh? Because most folks aren't used to me being here on Monday nights. But tomorrow, um, Catherine Pooler's creative thinking release hits her shop for Stamp Nation members. And I wanted to pop on and play with her uh, new, this bundle that I have here so that you guys can get excited about it. So um, we're going to do that. I'm going to do some Emboss Resist tonight. And uh, I want to do a light-up card because I've got lots of things here from Pear Blossom Press. And I can, uh, I think they fit perfectly with the light bulbs, of course, obviously. So, uh, Debbie, I haven't even had dinner tonight, so I'm wanting a snack real bad. Um, hopefully my phone will, I use a phone to actually uh, film the part from the, top down so that's uh interesting piece of information there for those of you interested in starting your own youtube channel i have always used a phone to film from the top down but i just purchased this little puppy a new canon eos m50 you can see the, how beautiful this is. This is a special lens that helps blur the background but keeps this part in focus. And so I'm going to be producing new videos with this for you guys, but also I'm uh, recording devotionals for our church with these. And we're going to have conversations going on. So I'll have this camera and this camera to work with both of them. And uh, this is going to be great. It's going to be really nice. Hey, Erica Post. Erica's here, my buddy. All right, that deserves a hand clap. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome in. Okay, so I think my phone came on. Yes, it did. And I can connect this now to the top. And we will get us a a bit of crafty goodness going on here in just a second. Catherine Pooler's newest release, Creative Thinking, has this wonderful bundle full of light bulbs. Now you can see how messy my desk is. Well, you can't because I didn't show you. But you guys want to see how messy my desk is? You want to see this? I am going to be vulnerable right now and show you how messy my desk is. There it is. You do not see all of that. You do not see it. You do not see it because when I turn the camera this way, the only thing you see is this right here. So let's, let's keep it focused on the right things, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn the lights up a bit and I'm going to put my face up here in the corner. There we go. Hello, everybody. I'm up here. I'm up here. I'm going to get rid of my keyboard now that I can talk to you guys. <laughs> yeah, um, I've got to uh, loosen up a little bit about it because, you know, when you are a an ENTP, that's my personality type. When you are my personality type, you have a bazillion things going on up here all the time. New ideas, exciting things to do. You can't stick with one thing at a time. You have to be thinking and doing a bazillion things and running through a bazillion ideas at a time. And um, 
that's part of the the madness of my creative abilities, but it's also somewhat frustrating sometimes. Hey Denise, thanks for subscribing. Denise, so just subscribe to my channel. All right, let's get started on our first project tonight. We're going to do an emboss resist card with some beautiful yellow ink from Catherine Pooler. And to do that, I'm going to need to get my embossing game on. So let's get, I thought I had already trimmed out a piece of cardstock, but I used it for something else. So let's see, this is too, this is, this will work, I guess, but it's not my favorite. Oh no, this is the, that's two sheets. This is my other cardstock. I'm out of Catherine Pooler white cardstock and it's an emergency. I'm completely out. So um, I'm not able to use that tonight, but I am able to use cardstock. I do have cardstock, lots of different kinds. But I'm gonna start by creating a panel of white heat embossed light bulbs. Are you ready? Thank you, Michelle, for subscribing as well. Thank you. I'm going to move that up just a little bit up there. There we go. All right. I'm going to use a Misty for this. Let's get my Misty going here. And my cardstock. I'm not going to put any going off the edge because we're actually going to trim this down. So I'm just going to get my light bulbs in here. And I don't want them going straight this time. I want them kind of just having some wonky time here. Having a great time. That's what we want. Gonna have to stamp this a few different times. What's going on? What are you guys, is anyone talking? I'm missing the conversation because, there we go. I can do a Devo for the peeps. What's a Devo, Erica? Erica, what's a Devo? I missed all of this conversation. Hi, Mickey. Hi, everybody. Why wasn't my thing going up so I could see what was being said? <laughs> Ack. Okay. So there we have some done. Oh, Laura, you are smart. I wish my cats were that talented. All right, I'm just going to grab some Versamark ink here. I've got it freshly inked up. Hey Brandon, I see more and more people joining in tonight. So it was slow getting in, but if you don't mind sharing our live, we are gonna do a giveaway in a little bit. Keep your conversation nice and fun and light and friendly. All right, now, because I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move these, they already have some embossing ink on them. I wanna clean that off before I put them back down, situate them on my cardstock, because I don't want that ink to come off in unexpected places and make embossing powder stick where I don't want it. So I'm just gonna clean it off real quick with some ultra clean and now I can put it on my cats laze around all day like they have just they're just exhausted I mean they are so full of themselves they act like they have worked eight hours you know right Debbie keep it light tonight let's keep it light Keep our conversation light, just like our card. 
Okay, and we got a few more of these in here. Let's put another one there. I want them going a little wonky, which is good. Thank you, Melissa. I'm happy you did that. And I know you will be too, because they're chock full of fun. And those critters are amazing. All right, I'm just gonna put that down there. I don't know how much of this we're gonna need, but get that right in the corner. And ink this up. Thanks, Linda Mitchell. Okay, let's see. And now I'm going to get a piece of scrap paper and we will heat emboss this with some white embossing powder. Man, Erica, these are the best light bulbs ever. Why did he call you Edison? Because you're brilliant? <laughs> see what I did there? Cause you shine like a diamond, shine like a light bulb. I found my reverse tweezers guys, but then I lost them again. How about that? What do you think of that? Losing them and then or finding them and then losing them again. All in the course of a day. Now, this did not work out very well. Some of it's kind of not sticking. What is wrong with my embossing powder? I know my Versamark was nice and juicy. All right, I don't want to shake off too much of my powder, so I'm just going to do this. Try to get as much on there as possible. Okay, I think I've got a good a goodly amount. So let's pour this back in here. Let's heat emboss it. Thanks, Susan. I'm glad that was a nice surprise for you. Erica, I'm like that. I love to tear things apart, but I could never get them back together again. I can take lots of things apart, but then I lose interest and uh, can't put them back together. God did not give me that gift. Okay, that's good. Nice and melted. And now we can do our heat embossing, or our emboss resist, which is one of my favorite, favorite things to do ever. So I'm gonna get a Catherine Pooler blending brush and some Catherine Pooler ink. Let's get some yellow. Two kinds of yellow here we've got Catching Rays and Chiffon. 
both from the party collection, so that's good. Yes, Deborah, welcome to the Surprise Live. I'm going to use the lighter ink, I think, around the light bulbs. And then the darker ink on the outside of the light bulbs, if that makes sense. I don't know that it matters. I'm just going to use... I'm just going to use the ink. <laughs> nope, Deborah, I did not, my friend. I'm so sorry. I have not done my monthly shipping. That's why. I have not done my monthly shipping. But I can get on that this week. I've had a really busy week this week, but I really don't have an excuse. <laughs> Laura, Laura wants to reply to folks. She's trying to say hi to people. I have your, uh, I have my uh, packages already ready to go. I just need to print the labels and ship them out. <laughs> yes, the weeks do fly by. I'm so happy you caught a, a live as well, Donna. Welcome. All right, now I'm going to add some catching rays. Catching rays is more of a yellow orange. So let's. I'm just going to add that into the areas here that are kind of white thank you Deborah you're so sweet and kind and patient I end up doing my giveaways and shipping them all out like in a big um, Shipping flurry. Like tonight's a giveaway night as well. So if you keep your comments coming, we will pick a name, a winner out of tonight's comments for our giveaway. I'm just doing some spot blending in here. I love these Catherine Pooler blender brushes, blending brushes. They're so soft. They're juice, uh, luxurious. Plus, getting to use them along with, along with Catherine Pooler inks is a huge plus. All right, now I'm going to get a bigger brush, a bigger yellow brush. That's brown. Because I'm going to add more of this um, chiffon ink in here. So I just want to press some of that out. And just blend that in. It's just a beautiful color. Love it. I think I may even just press it right into the cardstock. <laughs> I just love it so much. All right. Now I'm going to spritz this with water. Let's clean my mess up first. Should I spritz it with water? I think I will. It's my project, I can do what I want, right? Just to add some interest to my project. I think I may want to, well there, there you can start to see them better. I do love that. 
I love that Catherine Pooler inks are water reactive. I did, Debbie, thank you for asking about that. I sold it today. I was like, oh, I'm so exhausted going back and forth to this lot. Bonnie, thank you for mentioning my kitchen countertops. My wife is thrilled. Ooh, Laura, aren't they amazing? They're so sweet. <laughs> That's funny, Debbie. Deborah. Erica has me up on the big screen, but I can't read the comments. It's past time to get your glasses. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Margo. All right, let's. Yeah, I got that last bus sold today. Thankful for that. So I can move on with my life. Move on with my life. <laughs> All right, let's trim this panel down. I'm going to take off an inch on all sides. Well, I mean a half inch on all sides. But it ends up taking it down an inch. One, two, there we go. Isn't that a beautiful yellow? I love it. Okay, I cleaned my office this week and found my corner chomper. And I was so excited about that. So I'm going to use it tonight. This is a corner chomper from We Are Memory Keepers. And I'm just going to chomp a corner there, chomp a corner there. I just like that little design. Two points here, two rounded corners there. To me, it's just all in the details. Options, picture shape. I'm going to change my picture shape to round. I feel like I'm taking up too much real estate. All right, let's make a card base. Card bases need to be made with they need to be made with a score buddy but I already have a card base made up here so let's just use it isn't that fun don't you love this emboss resist forgot to wipe off my white embossing powder to make it shine even more and now I'm going to pop this up on some foam tape so I get my roll of foam tape out this is a brilliant stamp set by the way Erica there, I did it again. I'm just so clever. You got to be quick around me. Let's line it up with the long side first. There we go. That'll work right there. Ooh. No, it won't. That is not aligned. I just pressed it down too fast. Get that foam tape up faster by heating it up. I just need to turn my card panel just a smidge. Watch me fix my card, guys. There we go. Comes right up that way. 
All right. I'm going to have to get another card base. I'll still use that one. Just cut it in half and fix it. I was just a little crooked on there, and I didn't want it to be crooked. You know? I didn't want it to be crooked. You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to add some liquid glue to my foam tape, and that way I can position it if I want. Did you know you can do that? Just add a little glue to your foam tape. Kind of defeats the purpose of the adhesive on there, but, you know. There. That's better. That's better. That makes me happy that I was able to pull that off. Okay. Now... I'm going to just get some black cardstock, get my sentiments out here, and I like this one right here. You are an inspiration. Margo, see? You're smart. You're so smart. I'm just going to stamp that right onto my cardstock. Then pour some white embossing powder over it. See that? Beautiful job. Beautiful, beautiful. And now melt it. What's going on with your kitties, Erica? I hope they're okay. My four cats are all well. Hi, Lisa. Uh, should we sing it, Lisa? You light up my life. And that's all the words I know. <laughs> Bum, bum, ba, bum, bum. I don't want them to demonetize my videos by singing that song. <laughs> you, think they will. you think they'll be paying attention? Mm. Let's just pop this out like that. And push it in there. You guys seeing what I'm doing here? <laughs> yeah, let's get the karaoke night going on here. You give me hope to carry on. Do, 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 do. Now I got a little crease going on in my paper there, so I'm going to have to cover that up. All right. This is such a fun little design. You're an inspiration. No, you are. No, you are. No, you're an inspiration. No, you're an inspiration. I'm fighting with myself. <laughs> you guys keep singing. <laughs> All right, I'm getting my barely art glue out here. Where's my crease? Right where it, right at the upper third. 
that's where it is. You're an inspiration. I think that's a beautiful little design. Should we add a little light bulb on here? Should we, should we, huh, huh? Let's add a little round light bulb. And some midnight ink. I need to clean my ink pad. It's looking pretty ragged. Look how that just stamped perfectly right there. I'm going to grab a bit of yellow. And a bit of... So I'm just going to put in some Y06 and Y17. Just a little bit for some interest on our card. Oh, Keely, she went all out. She went to turn it on in her iTunes library. That's great. <laughs> okay. You're an inspiration. And this one, that definitely needs some sequins. Erica, what is the sequin mix for this, this release? I get them all mixed up. Is it Menlo Park? <laughs> Trying to find the yellow ones. Yes, thank you very much, Debbie. It was Menlo Park. I was right. Menlo Pack. Menlo Pack. Okay. Let's do some Menlo Park here. I have so many different brands of glue out here on my. We're going to do a squish W. One, two, three, four, five, a little bit there. And I have. A jewel picker around here somewhere. I call it my Jana Millen special, but I don't see it. Maybe it's in this this one over here. Why do bad things happen to good people? I always say that when I can't find something. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I can't find it. Anyway, I don't need it. I can use my fingers. Get the big sequin there. Get a medium size there, another medium size here. Now the smaller ones are going to be the challenge, right? And then we're going to do a light up card. Are you ready for that? Can you guys do me a favor and hit the, hit my uh, affiliate link for Catherine Pooler. Could you do that? Hit that link, come back and say, I clicked the link. Why don't you click it? 
touch your neighbor and say, click the link. That's what we pastors do all the time. Say, neighbor, click the link. Ooh, Melissa. Melissa found a bunch or a great deal on some Copic markers this week. Where'd you find them on Facebook? I have also done that. So, great way to expand your stash. Ooh, look at this. Thank you, Keely, for clicking that link. It lets Catherine Pooler Designs know that I sent you her way. I appreciate that. Is that what it's called? I always call the jewel. The thingy that picks up the little doodads. That's another way you can... That's another way to call it. <laughs> okay, let's make another... Let's make a... A uh, light up card. Are you ready for this? We'll make up a we'll make a light up card. I have these pear blossom press light light up card thingamajigs. So I'm just gonna break one off. Right, I don't need all of those. Just one of them. I think my kids are taking the putting the trash out on the curb, so they're making a little noise outside. Let's get the wires out of. There we go. Now these have three little lights on them each, and you can separate them, or you can keep them together. Like twist them together. This one is a little bit twisted. I'm have to watch the rest of this tomorrow. All right, Erica. Have fun. Get on your book. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Why can I not just separate this guy? He does not want to come out. Well, you've got to be gentle with these wires. They're not super thick, and you don't want to break the connection, so. I can situate them I can keep them like this and then situate them later once I get them in my card, okay? I also have some batteries in here because you're going to need batteries for this project. Take the batteries out. No. Let's just go through these quickly. Find my batteries. There they are. I knew they were in there because I had just seen them earlier. Okay, these are the batteries you need for the Pear Blossom Press light-ups. Are you excited about this, the light-up card? Welcome, welcome. Hi, Carrie. Welcome, Carrie. Yeah, I guess it's time. Uh, Lynn, these are Pear Blossom Press lights. I guess it's time that you try it. Isn't it time that you try it? Look at these light up. Isn't that beautiful? Aren't they just great? Okay. So I'm going to get a card base going on here. Thanks, Susan, for clicking that link. If you didn't click that link yet, would you do it? Click that link right there. All right. Now I'm going to stamp out a few of my light bulbs. 
I'm going to do this right here. Watch. This is one of my favorite ways to stamp, of course. It's just direct with an acrylic block, right? One, two, three. Thank you for using my links, guys. It really does help me and my family. Helps grow my channel, helps me to continue to provide great content for you guys. I think I'm going to use this, this one right here. And there. Yeah, the old ones used to be much more complicated to put together. I remember playing with some. Let's do this right here. That were not the simplest. Ooh, look what I just did. I just dropped my... Now that's annoying. I'm going to just stamp this first. Put one down here. And one right there all right there we go look how crooked that is e. a little bit crooked guys you know how to fix crooked stamping you just line it up on your trimmer until it's straight that's just way, way out. Way out. It's too much. Too far gone. Third time's a charm, though. <laughs> Third time's a charm, y'all. Y'all. All right, are you ready? We're going to do this. We're going to start like we should start with the light bulbs. All right, we're going to put one down here. We're going to put one right here. And we're going to put one right here. Like that. And then we're going to do this. What do you mean by sponge the edges, Margo? I'm not sure what you mean by that. There we go. There's one. A two. Let's make sure it's nice and straight. And then three. There we go. There we go. Now I'm good. Third time's the charm, Susan. That's right. Oh my goodness. Okay, now. I'm just going to flip this over. And I'm going to... Let's see what this looks like when... I do this. Can you see them? You can actually see them through the cardstock, which is pretty amazing. So I'm going to I'm 
going to hold this down and try to tape tape them. I'm going to have to try to tape them up in the air. So I'm going to hold this right here and put the tape on it. Here is some purple tape. Right. Purple tape right there. Get my second one. And put it down here. All right. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I hope you can. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> now I got you, Margo. I was too fast. Yeah, Carrie, every time you want to shop and give me credit, then you, you, you have to use my link each time. So the cookie will only last for a week or so. There we go. They come right on. Look at that. So you just t tape them down. And then put your battery where you want it. I want mine right here. And I can put a little stamp there that says press here. But I'm going to actually glue that down right there. So let's get some glue. Some glue and just glue that right there. I'm just going to hold it. Yeah, you have to use the, the link every time. I'm going to actually tape this down so I don't have to keep holding it. Jen, aren't they fun? Okay, I'm just gonna tape that there. The glue is gonna hold that. So now, one of the other things you're gonna want to do is tape, the, uh, put some foam tape around the edges because you don't want the light to escape the sides of your card. So you're going to need a bit of foam adhesive. Let me get my thinner roll here. It doesn't have to be super thick, right? But you're going to want it to be around the edges just to give you some space as well between your panel and your card base, All right? There is a light switch in the stamp set. So then I'm going to peel these up like this. Make sure that my wires are out of the way. I would normally do all my coloring and all of that before I did this, but it's okay. I just think this is a really fun setup. Because these are both A2 size, I can just line them right up on my workspace. And I'm going to put press here, right there, okay? But I do want to add some yellow marker. So let's do that. Let's color these in. 
going to use some YG04. Then some YG or Y06, just on the very outside. I'm also not being super careful about blending here. Sometimes it's necessary, sometimes it's not. All right. I'm going to turn the lights down. You can see it a little better. Let's see if I can turn the lights off. You ready for this? Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> Donald clicked the link and lost the feed. Hey, April. <laughs> This is the old version, Laura, of the 3M tape. It's just uh, not as wide. Okay, so we have a clean and simple stamp set going on here, or a card project going on here. But we're going to need a something to indicate that we need to press right here, right? So I have a little stamp set over here on my stash. Let me get it. I believe it's from Lawn Fawn. That is great for action cards or interactive cards. Great for interactive cards. It has push here, press me. Lots of ways to say it, right? Let's put it right here on the white. Let's show it on the white here. So it has an arrow, it has a little little finger has a heart different ways push me press me open me pull here shake me slide me open here slide look inside pull here open lift the tab shake me slide me open so there's lots of ways to say it right but i'm going to i'm going to use one like let's do let's do this one right up here this one I like that little round one. And I'm just going to use it with a little acrylic block. Catherine Pooler has these great little square acrylic blocks. Where's the button? There's the button. So that's where I want to push it, right? There we go. Push here. I'm not going to push there until I know it's dry. <laughs> I don't want to ruin my project, right? And then let's see what else we can stamp on here. Let's get a sentiment that says, let's see. 
Thank you for brightening my day. I like that. I like it a lot. We can put that right up here on the top. This is so much fun, guys. I love creating like this, just no pressure. I'll flip that over. Okay. There you go. Let's do this. We're almost done. We're almost done. Then I'm going to pick a winner. And then I'm going to pack prizes and send them off. Ooh, that's a nice one right there. Nice impression. All right, guys. We're almost ready. Thank you, Heather. I'm glad you love it. I had fun making it. I love these big round bulbs. They're really fun. I'm going to trim this down. Thanks, Debbie. Yeah, you guys get your comments in so I can I can see what's see who's who. Your comments are actually a very important part of the live stream. Just gonna turn this down this way. Let's do that. A little bit that way. Let's see. I'm just going to adhere this straight to the back. Or, I'm sorry, straight to the front of the card with no dimension behind it because our card is already very thick, right? We don't want it to be too thick. So let's put this right here. We'll bring it down just a little bit. All right. I think that's good. Just straighten it a, a smidge. There we go. There you go. And then the person just pushes there where it says push here. And it's done. Isn't that fun? Yay. I love it. I love it. I want to blend that ink a little bit. The yellow ink. I just want to blend it a little bit. So. Just add a little bit of. Get rid of some of the definition there on the. Yellow. I do have a class coming up. I'm going to open up a class on Teachable, the website, or another platform, and I will advertise it to everyone in my in my uh, email list. Then on YouTube, here I'm blending these in, and you won't be able to see the line as much. I like that much better. There we go. That's better. I'll let you guys know more about it, all right? Push here. Yay. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for brightening my day. Bam, bam, bam. 
Okay, guys. Um, it's time to pick a winner. But I need to take care of business first. Let's do some business. All right. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that button, please. For the puppies. Unless you hate puppies. Would you subscribe to my YouTube channel? Hit the bell, too, so you get notifications every time I go live, every time I up upload a new video. Thank you very much. Also, if you are watching on Facebook, you could do me a big bonus favor by hitting that like button over there. And if you're not subscribed to my newsletter yet, you can text the word Artie to 66866 and reply with your email address, and they will... Uh, subscribe you to my newsletter. Sarah, you missed it all. Catch the replay, my friend. There we go. I'm not on every Monday. I am on tonight, especially because tomorrow and Wednesday, Catherine has a release coming up, and I want you guys to know about it. That's part of my job. I want you guys to know all about it. Know about the stuff, the things. Also, hit my affiliate link there. Make sure you do that for me. For me, and it's also for you because if I don't have a following, if I don't have people watching and, and telling Catherine that, that I'm sending you over to shop or to at least look at her website, what good am I? I'm just kidding. She loves me. I love her too. Okay. I think it's time to give... <laughs> Thank you very much. So I do have a scheduled live every Saturday night at 9 p.m. So you can catch me every Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, nearly without fail, unless I'm deadly sick, traveling, or uh, my wife won't let me come on. That doesn't happen. But it's very rare that I'm not on. So Saturday night's at 9. Yep. Um, the Lawn Fawn set is called um it doesn't say it just says lawn fawn item lf 1416 i'll give you that that's what it says on the back 1416 i don't have it linked because i wasn't planning on using it but um I do love it. It's a really great little stamp set. You can get it on uh, Simon Says Stamp. There's a link there for Simon Says Stamp if you want. I'm pretty sure. There you go. All right. Time to pick a winner, guys. I'm going to pick a winner. Hope you got your comments in. If you lurk in the background and don't comment, then I can't pick your name out of the comments. So here's the winner. Now, the winner needs to send me an email to delandarty at gmail.com with your name and address and a short little snippet saying, I am the winner of tonight's giveaway. Give the date and say in there that you won something from your prize box. All right. All right. And the winner is Tammy Bowers. She says, super excited. Tammy Bauer is super excited, and I am too. Thank you, Tammy. I have prizes in my prize box that everyone would love. Please go ahead and write me that note, and I will send it on to you guys. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for saying that, Calvin. Very kind of you to say that this was inspiring. I really appreciate that. <laughs> and I'm happy my, my friend and co-team member, Lisa Harrell, was on here with me tonight. If you're not following Lisa on Instagram and YouTube and all of the places, please follow my friend Lisa. She's great. All right. All right. God bless you all. I hope you have a wonderful night. I will be sending out an email in the morning. For those who are Stamp Nation members, you'll be able to shop tomorrow. And for everyone else, you'll be able to shop on Wednesday. Take care and have a wonderful night.